Incredibles 2. I um I'm a big fan of the first Incredibles movie and um Well I, I just like Pixar Shoulder. cartoons. I think for the most part if you're looking for a steady quality in movies, you are best served by watching cartoons basically. High quality cartoons because like I can't really think of a cartoon that Pixar has made that hasn't been really good apart from the car series that sucks. But Incredibles 2, I thought it was not as good as the first one, but still it's sort of funny because there's like a the first one came out maybe something like more than a decade ago. So I was interested in seeing how the visual style would evolve since um, uh, the art in itself has evolved quite a bit during this time period. And um, it, was, it was really interesting to see this sort of uh, aesthetic taken from the Help first bring movie. bring back into the sunlight. We need to change people's perceptions about superheroes, and Elastigirl is our best play. Better than me? <clears throat> that has been kept, but then sort of pushed forward to a more, let's say, realistic direction. And it's just a lot of fun, and I went to see it with, um, with a child, and she really liked it. So it's, it has this element that the best cartoons have, these animations, that um, it's enjoyable for the adults and the children because it sort of has multiple layers to it and everybody gets something out of it. And then it's, it's really like, it's basically like a, like a funny, good action movie that is really well made, but it's really better than most action movies that Hollywood produces. And it's really, I can't really figure out why, because it's basically the same process that goes into making an animated feature and a real live action feature movie. But um, I don't know, but again, really good. And I highly, highly recommend it.